In the video covering transportation process editing, we created a new transportation process called new crude oil process. Now we'll make a pathway around that new process so we can examine the energy consumption and emissions resulting from the process. As a reminder, this transportation process is moving crude oil from the United States to a petroleum refinery using the pipeline and barge modes. Let's add a new pathway in the data editors pane and we'll search for our new process in the processes menu and we can drag it into the pathway display frame. Now to make a pathway we need an output and we need an upstream process to supply crude oil that is being transported. First we'll drag in an output and there's only one compatible output available and that's crude oil. Make sure to connect the process to the output. Next we'll drag in an upstream process. In the pathways and mixes frame at the bottom left we'll need to find a process that has an output of crude oil that can connect to the crude oil input of our transportation process. So let's search crude and we can drag in a crude oil process and connect it and then we've got our pathway. Let's name the pathway new crude oil pathway and then click add as new. So now we have a new transportation process and a new pathway built around it. Let's go to the WTP pane and in the products pane we can search for our new pathway and here it is displayed. Notice that there aren't any results reported for the pathway and that's because we haven't yet recalculated the model. So go to results in the main menu and select calculate and once that's finished search again for the new pathway and this time when we display the pathway the results appear as well. The results shown here are for the new crude oil pathway. To view results for the individual process we created we'll need to use an Excel spreadsheet. In tutorial video number four called Exploring Fuel Production Pathways, I explained how to copy and paste greet results into Excel to figure out results for an existing process. And this is the same procedure that I'll demonstrate now. To start, make sure to have a blank Excel spreadsheet open. Next, click on the new transportation process and notice that the results refreshed so that they now include all energy consumption and emissions up to and including our transportation process. Just a note, because there is nothing downstream from our process except an output, the results didn't change when they refreshed, but it's good practice to follow the same routine of clicking on the process of interest and refreshing results. Now right click on the results and select copy all values, then go to Excel and paste the results into column A. Next click on the process immediately preceding the process of interest. In this case that one's called conventional crude for US refineries. The results refreshed again and they now include only energy and emissions up to and including that process. Right click on the results and copy all values. Then paste those into column D of the spreadsheet. In column G Enter a formula to subtract values in column E from column B. And this provides energy consumed and emissions resulting from the new crude oil process. You can copy units from column C or column F over to column H. Just make sure that the units are the same in both columns. If they're not, you'll have to figure out the correct unit for the new result. Between this video and the previous video, we've seen how to create a new transportation process, plug it into a pathway, and generate results for both process and pathway. Stay tuned for more videos, and thanks for watching.